Elon Musk uh, has told potential Twitter investors that he could return the company to public ownership in as little as three years after buying it. That's according to the Wall Street Journal, as we said, a new report in that newspaper. And it says Musk uh, has been speaking to investors, including private equity firms, who could help pay for the deal and reduce the $21 billion that he plans to pay. The rest of the $44 billion price tag is coming from loans. Uh, Musk also shedding some light on a potential business model for Twitter, tweeting last night that Twitter will always be free for casual users, uh, but maybe there may be a slight cost for commercial slash government uh, users. Government, I like that. I, I would call myself casual at, at best, Andrew. Especially you, if they're going to charge you. Yeah, but my Joe, retweets I, are I, not I, endorsements, Andrew. I just I, I need to emphasize that again and again and again. It's just uh, right. it's, it's just something what, to look what's at. What's so fascinating about what Elon's been doing, and I talked to a number of investors about this on Monday and then yesterday as well, is th there's two groups of people he's talking to. He's talking to some of the large investors who are in the company now publicly, right? And this is the Fidelities of the world, the black, all of the sort of large investors, because what he wants them to do is to roll over into the deal. That lowers the price unto itself. That's not even talking about taking in new money. And then he's talking to private equity money, hedge fund money, some other uh, debt folks and the like. But what's interesting is he obviously publicly said what he said at that TED conference now two weeks ago, saying, I'm not in this for the money. <laughs> but now, but then he has to pitch because it to he's investors trying to lower the price. Yes. He's right. having to we make, are in it for the money. He's having to make a business case for why people should roll into this and invest into this side by side with him. And, of course, one of those things is changing the business model. But the other is the tantalizing prospect that if he's successful and given the amount of success he's had over the years, it's impossible to bet, bet, bet against the man that actually he be, could become so successful at this that he would turn around and bring it back to the public markets in several what, years. What, so. what is the interest among the big institutional investors, the fidelities and the like? Because that, that would be a trickier sell, it would seem to I me. I think it's a very, I think from, from the, the conversations I'm having, it's a very, there's a very mixed uh, view. There's some people who think, you know what, you got to bet on Elon. Look what he did with Tesla. Look what he did with SpaceX. Look what he's doing with the boring company, Neuralink and all of that. And, you know, <clears throat> let's get in on the ground floor of this next great opportunity. Um, and there's others who say that this Twitter is actually very, very different from the sort of manufacturing um, piece of what he's been so successful at. I, I've talked to a number of people who say, look, the one thing that this guy knows how to do is create a factory. He, mm -hmm. understands, how to, he understands the machinery, the, the way a factory works better than anybody in the world. But, but Twitter, speech content, media. I mean, he's quite successful, obviously, at it unto itself on Twitter right now, but that, it, that, that, un, that that may be a very difficult and different type of challenge. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.